week long, we've been visiting eye-popping exhibits at California Museum. And today, Malou Nubla is taking us inside San Francisco's Museum of Modern Art. Good morning, Malou. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Danny and Jess. I'm at the Correct Education Center at SF MoMA for a new exhibit called The 80s Matter in the Mission. And joining us right now is Fatima with Acción Latina. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me today. So your organization is partnering with SF MoMA. Yes, correct. And Acción Latina is an arts and media nonprofit organization based in San Francisco's Mission District. All right, so tell us about this exhibit, The 80s Matter in the Mission. This is a wonderful exhibition that is free to the public. We are centering on the 80s, documenting El Tecolote's archives. Acción Latina is a proud publisher of El Tecolote newspaper. And we're also featuring many Latinx artists in this space, talking about Central American migration and Latinos with AIDS in the 80s. All right, let's talk about the importance of the 80s, especially this publication. Yes particularly El Tecolote newspaper is one that I had an opportunity in actually creating an installation for this show and it was really personal. Uh, I'm the daughter of Salvadoran refugees who fled El Salvador in the 80s so to be able to hold history in my hands just spoke to the mission of our organization and being able to represent Latinx communities and make sure that they are seen and represented. So this entire exhibit is very special to you. Yes, <laughs> that is true. We have beautiful artwork in this space. Uh, we're seeing here a, a mural by Elizabeth Blancas documenting and paying tribute to um, Juan Pablo Gutierrez as well as Francisco Alarcón and Central American families as seen through the lens of Dia de los Muertos in the 80s. All right, some of the other artwork here. Tell us about that. Yeah, we also have Salvadoran artist uh, Rafael Arana who has a beautiful painting of his mother based on a photograph of her arriving to the Mission District in the late 80s, as well as some photographs by Joe Ramos documenting the Dia de los Muertos procession during that decade. Okay, right here, this is super colorful. Tell us about this. Yeah, this is artist Josue Rojas, and this is a beautiful testament to his own journey in the Mission District in the 80s as well. Okay, all right, thank you very much, Fatima. We're gonna get back to you in just a second. We're gonna move over here right now with Tomoko. Great to see you. Hi, great to see you too. So tell us about this space. It is very, I mean, you do a lot of great partnerships within the, the community. Yeah, so this is the Cret Education Center, and it's a free space within the museum, and it's the home to our community residence program. And what that means is we invite local community organizations such as Acción Latina to curate exhibitions that are really reacting to exhibitions that are on view at the museum as well. And in this case, it's Diego Rivera's America. Okay, so this space you said is free. Yes, it's free and it's also the home for a lot of our education programs. So we have students coming through in the mornings on school, school group visits. We do public programs in here. So it's a really wonderful space to just come and relax sometimes in the afternoons or to really come see some incredible programs. We too. saw a lot of the kids here earlier. <laughs> yeah, it's really adorable. And this exhibition is really also made for the kids too. Okay, let's also talk about Diego Rivera's America right now. You can see that too. Yes, so Diego Rivera's America is on the fourth floor of the museum. It's an incredible exhibition that brings together over 150 artworks, paintings, frescoes, and drawings from Diego Rivera. And these are works really focusing from the 1920s to the 1940s in Mexico and the United States. What about the mural? Uh, <laughs> the mural. So in addition to the Cret Education Center, the Pan American Unity Mural is an incredible work of art um, that is in one of our free spaces that um, had been in CCSF, City College of San Francisco, for a long time, and it was conserved and brought here to SF MoMA. We know about that story. <laughs> it's a great story. Also, some special events and everything coming up, too, uh, for every Thursday? Yes, yeah, so First Thursdays is really exciting. It's free for Bay Area residents to come to SF MoMA. That includes the Diego Rivera exhibit. And um, on November 3rd, our First Thursday, we have a really fun program. We're going to have mariachi in front of the Pan American Unity Mural. So please bring your friends and family. It's going to be a fun time. Okay. Okay, so you said that it's it's free on the Thursdays? On first Thursdays of the month, the museum is free for Bay Area residents. Okay, now you can also come in here too to the Correct Education Center. Yes, anytime you can come into the Correct Education Center or to come see the Pan American Unity Mural. Okay, Tomoko, thank you very much. Fatima, we'll bring you back in here. This is a very special space. want everyone to definitely come out here and enjoy it. SF MoMA, the Correct Education Center. Thank you very much. So Danny and Jess, you know, they had us at free. So if you want to come that first <laughs> Thursday to enjoy all of this, that's the way to go. You can be our guests. We were just talking about yeah. that. The, the free words kept on luring us in. So, and the music. Yeah, right? who knew? Except for the mariachi. Yes, we, exactly. we love it when education is free, right? You learn so much, and it's yeah. free. So that's yeah. so great. All yeah. right, thank you, Malou. Yes.